Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. I'm Peter Moxlin, Keeper Emeritus, and last time we had a very, very short mission. Like, I I'm pretty sure that the game did not expect me to do that mission because of how simple it was. It was two turns, or maybe three turns, but that was because we killed all the, all the enemies and it didn't end the mission automatically. Ooh, we get a new recruit. I didn't notice that before. I noticed that we, get, um, I noticed that we were getting a round of promotions. Okay, this first. Or that. Okay, shelter we had in the previous campaign. He was uh, the teleporting Psy guy. Zephyr, I'm fairly certain, is a Templar of some kind and is very based on melee abilities. Patchwork we have not seen before. Oh, no, no, wait, you were one of our choices on the first round of, um, of uh, stuff in the first campaign. Okay. So, gremlins being able to hack open doors is actually pretty useful. Granted, the usefulness can the utility can also be taken up by having a door key instead. That's essentially combat protocol. I uh, can chain to other enemies and does more to robotic enemies. We aren't fighting robots yet. That's going to be Sacred Coil, and we're currently on Grey Phoenix. This just... This feels like it's going to be good, but I have a hard time explaining why, and it might just be that my that my um, expectation of melee abilities is grossly overinflated because of how ridiculous War of the Chosen was. I tried Dazzle, like I unlocked it and everything, and it seemed decent. Relocate was less useful than I expected it to be. Your locked one is Combat Scanner. Enters the room applying hollow targeting to all enemies and increases the aim by 15 against marked enemies. I assume that marked enemies and hollow targeted enemies are the same thing here. Basically, plus 15 aim against a room. That actually is pretty solid. And it makes it so that I can, uh, uh, I, it makes it so I can take Terminal, I think her name is, out of rotation to do other stuff as necessary. Because currently she's our only gremlin unit. Aim 75, what is your gun type? Or do you just have fists? Like, do you still have the Templar auto pistol? Or do you just have, like, pistol? Or just fist? I kind of wish there was a way to see, actually. I'm not sure there is. Like, it, it's between these two. It's do I value the gremlin or the melee more? There's the gremlin we have, but it's also very useful. The melee we don't have and could be exceptionally useful. Fuck and I want the fun. Close quarters, high mobility. Move move fast or die slow. Oh, uh, Tiger Beast, there we go. Old World Origin, Australia. Prior to invasion, no confirmed past. Scattered records suggest she was Australian, undergoing the hybrid amalgamation and psionic lathe procedure in 2021 at about 14 years old. 16 to 34 occupation, officially created in 2021 per advent records. Transferred to City 31, worked as a loyal Advent soldier under the, under the Psionic Network. Separated from the Psionic Network by the Skirmishers Resistance Faction. Joined the Skirmishers and quickly rose in their ranks. Operated primarily in City 31's region. 2035 War for Liberation. Fought Advent alongside XCOM for the duration of the war. Was present for the fall of, of City 31 at 28 years old. The present, left Skirmishers at the war's end. Applied to the Reclamation Agency after failing to uncover her human past. Recommended for Chimera Squad by multiple XCOM soldiers she once fought beside. I said it before and I stand by it. Having played through these four games in quick succession, then going to Chimera Squad, these biographies are amazing to me. I love them. Yeah, that's it. Nothing? Zephyr, you made it. There we go. Yeah. You grab a locker? Yep. Have everything you need? Yeah. Good talk. No. I mean, you're the first one who's not a talker, so I'm okay with that. Damn! You are built! Okay, don't go on your bad side. Got it. Oh, that was your first one? Wait. Refresh. All allies at their breach point for 2 HP. Okay. You know, I, I now see the use of that a lot more. I wish I didn't. Also, on easy mode, that's uh, on easy mode. That's going to be useless, isn't it? 
because that's the mode where you can have um, everyone heal to full at the start of each breach. What is going on there? Can't. I don't think that that's written in the Roman alphabet or like any font of it. I'm really curious as what's going on with that. Okay, now you get your second level, which is either generator or guard. Generator, one charge at the end of each encounter. I'm not gonna lie, it's boring, but that's probably really useful because that means he can shield bash for four at the start of each encounter after the first. Guard, at the end of at the end of the turn, gain plus one armor, a half cover bonus even if flanked, and become half cover for friendlies. Guard breaks after being attacked. Those are both so fucking useful. Like do more damage with the thing that that uh stu or the thing that subdues opponents or gain armor in a game where I keep accidentally letting people die and also become half cover. Oh, uh, is it just it's gain one charge, not set to one charge or something. I'm not convinced this is the right choice, but I think I'll use it a little bit more a little bit more uh, effectively. All oh, right, your thing. Uh, five aim and ten crit for each enemy in the neural network, or enemies that are killed in the neural network are unconscious instead. Since I'm not giving him the trank now, it actually is a lot more apparent how few people are being knocked out. This still seems like it's really good, though. Just, he has plus ten aim from the gun, I can get him another 5 from the ammo if I can build up enough money. And now that's probably going to be plus 10 aim for later parts of missions and 20 crit. I'm making a gun-centric sectoid. Oh my god. That's probably not going to last. Okay, now what's your stuff? Warm welcome. First shot in each clip disorients the enemy. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Ever vigilant, Blue Blood automatically activates Overwatch if the last action of their turn was spent moving, including using abilities that can provide movement such as subdue and stabilize. I'm gonna go with Disorient because that seems like it's gonna be really useful. It is just the first shot of each clip, though. We also, however, have an advanced expanded or advanced autoloader, I think it is, now, so we can reload a lot more freely as well. Okay. Training. Cherub, fitness, go, yes. Two days with no cherub, assign Zephyr. Anglers point to two, downtown to zero, old town down, down to three. Now admittedly putting someone in spec ops, if this next mission doesn't give us credits, we actually, oh uh, wait, spec ops is three days, isn't it? We get credits out of this. Okay. Review crime scene for 75 credits. You know what? As stupid as it is, what I did realize before is pushing these until the game says critical mission, you must do it today, might actually be the optimal way to do it because it gives you more days to prepare first. So 75 credits here might be the play. There's nothing else available. We have no intel for more field teams. That's on cooldown. Do we just have the one field team? Yes, because I used the uh, market. 31 PD called. A suspect fa fired a restricted weapon after a spirited altercation. They're offering to let us review the crime scene to, to see if it relates to our current investigation. 75 credits and pass the day. Yay! Old Town 4, 75 credits, enhanced pistols. From the archives, the connection to our current investigation is tangential, but it, will, but it provided insight into how our, our opposition thinks. There's Friday, so we also just got a bump of Illyrium, I think. The protest of the Starport's closure grew contentious as several terrestrial supremacist groups arrived to counter protest. Said Artisan Glorva of the Shipworkers League. These people share the beliefs of those who killed Mayor Nightingale. They seek to provoke us. Well, the city does nothing. A masked spokesperson from Earth above all insisted otherwise. Alien pilgrimage? They want access to armed starships inside that port. Of course we're here to say otherwise. 
More as the story develops. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. And you know what? That's actually a fair bit of contention. Like, even if the starships are actually uh, useful, like if they have good resources, or I remember there being a different one of those that said that the starships are a religious icon. They are also still armed starships. Like, there's reason to hold those back. 15 intel, supply a items. Sweet deal on combat grade androids. I know, everyone hates them. Cool. Enhanced pistol, buy it. That was 125, not 150, huh? Was it painted blue before? Okay, that says grenade, it's not bomb. I haven't actually bought a med kit yet. Okay. So we got enhanced pistols. Mastercraft pistols is then 90 Illyrium 6 days. Yeah, no. One of the other guns is probably best. Granted, Infiltrator Weave would let us use Vents. Mock Weave is Dodge. Brood Field Teams, not nothing, honestly. Uh, we need to spend the time to heal up Godmother if the shotguns are going to be useful. Hold on. Uh, Armory. Zephyr. Loadout. Pounding Gaunt- or Pangolin Gauntlets. A deceptively simple Pangolin Gauntlets. The deceptively simple Pangolin Gauntlets adjust to an agent's hand movements, with only a negligible loss in mobility. Three to four damage, using the primary weapon ends the agent's turn in the absence of special training. Okay, yeah, you, you do not use guns. Okay, so we have pistols, which is you and you. You are an assault rifle. You are a shotgun. You are a submachine gun. So, no gun. Some SMG. Pistol. Assault rifle. Pistol. Shotgun. So there's not a lot of spread for our assembly to cover. Let's do assault rifle, though, because it's higher damage, and uh, Verge is the one who already has the uh, weapon upgrades that lets him shoot twice and such. That's three days before we can get the upgrade to that. Let's try to get up to 150 credits. Weapon mod. Ooh, field team and minus two unrest. Yes. Nothing else. As you know, our presence in City 31 is precarious. The City Council is divided on Reclamation's future. So we do the job we came here to do. Secure dangerous technology from those who seek to harm City 31. As Reclamation confirms intel on these bread and butter missions, we'll place them on the map. They can't argue with our mandate. Protecting the citizens of this city will help them understand our commitment. Okay, so this is one flash bomb. That's actually solid. That's a free field team and it reduces unrest. Difficulty still moderate, okay. Urgent request for XCOM from XCOM HQ. Chatter confirms an imminent attack on the local data analyst. They request our immediate assistance. Ah, uh, yes, the highest priority civilian targets. Data analysts. Weird. If we're lucky, we can reach an endangered VIP before hostile forces arrive. We're never going to be lucky, are we? Extract the VIP before hostiles can overwhelm the position. Get to the evac and get out. Ah, okay. Get to VIP, get the fuck out. Got it. Right. Okay, what kind of items do we have at the ready? Expanded mag. And nothing else. Let's go ahead and give you the expanded mag then, just because I like you being able to shoot a lot. Since you have the reflex grip, giving you the, the auto loader isn't the worst idea. Actually, yeah, that, that does actually balance out, doesn't it? I like you having the plus 10 aim, though, just because it makes you more accurate. So I'm going to try to stick with that for now. But there's some there's some playing around that we could do here. One encounter, which again is just the infinite spawn. And the breach option is a vehicle, a.k.a. we're going to drive in there and get out the truck. Oh, how I wish Cherub was at the ready. Because this seems like a like the kind of mission where there's going to be a lot of aggressive enemies at the beginning. Huh. 
your high mobility though, actually, so I can get you to the VIP a lot more a lot more quickly. I think. I'm gonna try to stick with this. See what happens. Overward on this. Uh, two unrest. Field team. No credits. Okay. I was thinking about maybe getting a, a med kit or something. Eh, whatever. Operation this thing. We beat the hostiles to our VIP. Prep to evac. Ah, so you mean that we get one turn to ourselves and then need to fight off everything. Plus three damage during breach. Uh, to, to anyone who... The last one. I don't know how you work during breach, actually. Huh. You, 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 you. Go. It's go time. We beat the hostiles, huh? Fifty-five. Don't have the damage to guarantee the kill. At that, at that, at those percentages, I say we go for it. Darn. So if it's one, we might as well use this now. Go ahead with that. Good. Fearless advance. Zephyr charges toward an enemy after the breach sequence and attacks them with a melee strike. Zephyr will start the encounter adjacent to the enemy. Okay. Oh yeah, plus three damage. Not totally sure why that one isn't flashing, but whatever. 93 on that, I'd say it's worth. Hi there. Hi there. Smash the hostile. It was the training. At least all hunker. I see the VIP. Escort to the evac zone. Any chance that's behind us? No, of course it isn't. Right. Cool. Reinforcements. Okay. I think that this is doable. Right. Okay, so I saw you two hunker. You don't have the eye symbol, so I don't think you're overwatched. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Because, like, we have half cover, but... We need to move forward at some point. Extract all squad members. Extract, extract the data analyst. The data analyst is there. I think go for the one and four, I guess. Okay. Got a graze. You're just gonna hunker down here for now. Oh, they're gonna come to us, aren't they? Please don't. Ow. Still mobile. Fucking really. <sighs> Gonna back up a little. Okay. Fuck this guy. I'm going this way then. Gotta get moving. At that point, just go here because it might pull his aim or something. I don't know. Bunker. Engaging. It's preferable. No, no, fuck you. That one's on me. They're disoriented. That works. The next one will hit. 
God, I wish I'd remembered that for, um, to shoot at you, but, yeah, whatever. Okay. Ah, missed the target. That took a chunk out. Cool. Cool. We don't have a med kit, so, yeah, this... Yeah, I might actually just be fucked. Okay. Load back to the beginning. Note to self, cars are fucked in this one. I haven't actually had to learn that yet. Oh, fuck off. Okay, so we did... Is there... Yeah, it still makes sense to put, um... Uh, Verge last. Open sesame. I feel like there's one more this time. Go for that. At least the car's gonna blow up for them this time. Wait, Lancer. Yeah, sure. Good. Heroes Advance, not you. Probably not you. Oh, only those two? So I'll show that one then. So getting one of the ones in the back is actually really preferable then. Sure. Not quite dead. I think you have one health. Can you stand more forward, please? Here's the VIP. Protect and escort to the evac. When does the car blow up? Teamwork, Blue Blood. Hold on, is the re are the reinforcements coming down? No, okay. <laughs> Yo, that looks like we were about to get a pod on top of us. Okay, let's stop you from doing anything. No. Um, not entirely what I intended, but okay. On you. Let's start with this. Good. Then that. Maybe. Then you just go here. And hunker. Right. But barely. That's okay, dude. You can think. There you go. Be gone. Is that the best you can do? Heading to location. Hi. Disabling target weapon. Oh fuck oh, off. Should have we need me to take a look? Metal Madness. You... Yeah, you. Because hitting either of them will get a kill. Good. Unless we can just shoot you. No, we can, but it's not going to be that useful. Go ahead with that. One less hostile. Nice and clean. Okay, Grum one stabilized. Go ahead. Yeah, you're still at full health. Uh, you're berserk, but you're not like uh, you're not stunned. 
Blue Blood is next. You need to reload first. Data Analyst. Yeah, sure. Barely got through the armor. Reload. Back in action. Five. Sure. I keep forgetting about the disorient because I'm not used to it. Bounced off. That armor's tough. Bunker. Wounded is wounded. Dude, what the fuck? Does this oriented do something different than I thought it did? I thought it was like your aim goes to shit. I mean, sure, gremlin stabilize. I kind of feel like this might be a lost mission for the moment. And fuck you! Got the hostile. One of them. Nice. I think I need more practice. And you just hunker. Sucks, it. Moving on target. Moving. Okay, so it's three. Oh, mind merge. Yep, we needed that. Ammo's nearly out. Yeah, that's the best we got. Six two by two. Not down yet. Cool. Head right. The game. Looks like you had that. And hunker. Heading to location. Yeah, fuck you. You weren't making my job easy. Hell. I have no idea what that did. Engaging target. Great, I'm out. Oh right, you're out of ammo. I forgot Let's about that try. part. Stabilize. And subdue. Oh no, wait, this is the guy who has like 20 health. Great, cool. Yeah, perfect. I can both move, so, uh, fucking move. On the run. Hi. Ancient, you could just not shoot me. Great, I'm out. Yeah, you're not taking that down in one shot. You're taking that's gonna take three to four shots at least. Moving, cover me. Oh yay, the VIP can get out. No. Evac. I was terrified for a moment that I just fucked up the turn. We're dead anyway, you? but just the extra stupidity of if I had died that way. Right, oh, fuck you. Ugh, at least I could treat my own wound. Wow, a, a, a shot that doesn't make me feel like I'm about to die immediately. No. I'm not about to actually get out of this, am I? Ha! You got nothing on me. Oh good, I'm one square off. I'm definitely dead then. Okay. We have just got to survive uh, four enemies that we can leave. One. Yeah.
too. Enough of that, jackass. By all means, wait your turn. I'd love it. Whatever that ability does. One action. Oh. And there we go. Mission fail. Reload save. Uh, strategy start of day, I think. Well, that took a lot less time to have a failed mission. Protest of the starport's closure grew contentious as several terrestrial supremacist groups. Oh, it's this one again. Okay. To counter protest. Here, there. <laughs> well, uh, just straight up, we failed that one. Um, not gonna lie, I feel like Zephyr might not have been a good choice. I'll probably stick her on a research duty for the next while. Uh, I, I, I don't feel like this campaign is fully doomed yet. But man, that does not feel good to have a failed mission that quickly after getting an upgrade like the uh, next level of pistols. Anyway, that's it for the mission though, and thus the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do all that YouTube stuff for a million times. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Said Artisan Glorva of the ship.